guys, welcome back. So I just wanted to show you some quick styles you can do um, with your hair. I actually have crochet twist in Senegalese twist. And in the front, my mom did them singled. So basically, the front, um, she braided my own hair and then added the extensions. And in the middle, I have like the swirly corals. I can't explain it. But anyway, and so she just did the front and the back like that. So that when I pull it up, you won't basically see the braiding pattern. But um, I try to do these styles sometimes like when I'm home because even though I'll do it like for a day at work or something, my head starts hurting for it. So I can't keep these up for long for some reason. It starts giving me a headache. So anyway, so of course you can keep it out like this, which is normally what I rock, the side part. Or sometimes I'll just put it in the middle and do a front part. But anyway, so styles you can do, you can do a half up, half down. So I normally just go like this and gather them all up because sometimes you're probably bored doing the same thing over and over so you go ahead I'm pretty sure there's a lot of videos on the same stuff but I was like I'll just share what styles I like to do so you can go like this and kind of give you the 90 vibes type of thing for what adjusted vibes although I don't have box braids but I did this before with my box braids. Or you can leave it back like that. Or you can change it into a bun. And you're wondering why I have makeup. Because this is very sandal that I have makeup. I did another video, which you probably would have saw before this. So um, if you haven't checked that. I look a little better though. I did no mirror makeup challenge. I well, I'm ripped off some stuff. Anyway, this is not the neatest bun, but you can do something like that. A high bun. Or, you can do this, where you can have it like this. I can't see the parting, so hopefully I'm parting start. You can go back like that. Let me move back. So you can take it like that and use your scrunchie. And do back kind of so you can have it out of your face if you want out have it out of your face you can also do this I don't really do but like let's say you're home maybe and you want to it out your way and you want to be cute or if you are going outside do two braids so one braid on this side I personally, some styles I don't wear to work because I feel like I look like a kid. I already look like I'm a teenager to some people, so I try to do styles that don't make me look too much. So I normally I go for the half up, up, down, if anything. So of course you would need a rubber band, but I'm not gonna rubber band. You have one here, and then you could do another one. And I think this is also a great style like when you want to wash your hair. And I have videos of how I wash my hair. I wash my crochet braids normally how I would wash my box braids or anything. This I might be a little more delicate though in terms of like drenching my hair. I wouldn't leave it too long drenched in the water. Because it's already getting loose enough. That's just because I put it up too much. That's my fault. Because I'm not I just, even if it's just putting it up for 20 minutes, it just starts getting loose. So I try not to. That's the only thing about crochet braids. They might get to it. So you see, you got two little cute ones. Or you can do a side braid. I'm going to do it on this side. So you just make your three parts. And honestly, I learned how to do single braids from YouTube, so if you don't know how to braid, I can't cornrow braid, but doing a braid like this or single braids, I can do. That I know how to do. And I thought I was never going to be able to even do that, but YouTube taught me. So. Maybe one day I'll learn how to cornrow, but that's still not my forte. So, you got your cute little... Excuse me. You got a cute little side one. Um, what else can you do? Of course, you can put it up in a bun, but I'm not gonna even try that because it's just too much hair, and I've tried, and it just doesn't stay up anyway. Um, I'm trying to think what other style you can do. 
You can also like pull it to the back. That's the self-explanatory. This bed is not too big for that. You need one of the huge ones. Um, and that's all the other styles I can only styles I can think of. Let me know what other styles that you guys have tried for your protective styles. But this is probably the the basic ones that I can think of. Um, that's also not gonna strain my head because, like I said, I can't keep the, a lot of the styles I'm showing you guys. I'll do them not for a long period of time because my head starts hurting me. So I try to keep it down for the most part and just rock it like that, even though it annoys me that it's in my face. Or what I think I'm gonna start doing. Like you can put a, I don't have my headband now, but another trick too, if you don't, if you're going to have it down and you don't want it on your face, you can get a headband, like a cute headband or something that you have, or even like a turban piece. Like I have a couple of those and then you can put it in the front and it's out of your way and it still looks cute. So yeah, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Let me know down below what other protective, protective styling styles you tried. Does that make sense? I'll see you guys in the next video. Oh, and hit the notification bell so that you're notified every time I post a new video. Bye.